the blonde the bimbo. The bimbo. Let me just tell you that it's women yeah. like you two that give the rest of us a bad name. You know what, Lauren? Week after week, we come out here and we do these lovely little interviews for you, and all you do oh. is disrespect yeah. the beautiful people. So now you're gonna get the brown paper bag treatment. Oh please! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! You ready for this? You are not doing that. That is no, not how. Yeah, get to step in. And that is exactly what we will do to every one of you wenches in TNA that disrespect the beautiful people. Don't hate our beautiful looks. Hate the game. And Roxy, you hideous she-beast, the fact that that I have to be in the ring with you tonight makes me want to barf. And I only prefer to barf when I need to get under 95 pounds. Mm -hmm. It'll be beauty that will slay the ugly beast tonight. And remember, look all you want, but never, ever touch the beautiful people. Can you believe that? Giving the brown bag treatment to somebody as beautiful as our broadcast colleague, Lauren. And that in light of what they did here recently on Impact just a couple of weeks ago to Gail Kim. Gail earning that title shot against Awesome Kong, but instead it was Angelina Love with the interference. Gail Kim hurt her knee, had the MRI test, and she's got a sprain of the MCL. Gail Kim in trouble. I'll tell you what. It even makes me matter that last week, referee Rudy Charles wouldn't allow Roxy to take them shears and shave their head. It just, it just would be so fitting for these two. Of course, he ends up getting his, which he gave him the voodoo drop, but they just get under your skin, Mike. And her opponent from New Orleans, Louisiana, Roxy! Yes, she had her head shaved ball back in our Sacrifice pay-per-view. Also thanks to Angelina Love, if you really think about it, Don, that interference of the match. Well, she owes Angelina Love everything, and you can see that that's exactly where she's targeted. She just wants to get that revenge and feel she still hasn't quite got it yet. And look at the vengeance. Look at the, the aggression that she's taken out on Angelina Love right here at the start. Well, I think we'd expect nothing less. Charges into the corner. Just caught her right there. Follow-up move is the clothesline, and then right to the mount. And you see her clubbing with rights and lefts right into the face of one of the beautiful people, Angelina Love. Well, what I love about Roxy is she's not just a good brawler, as you can see there. I mean, she's got so many layers. She's got such a repertoire of moves. And she's also got that strength. Just pulling her right there to the middle. And, man, this isn't about techni technicalities here. This is just about beating her up. I want to remind you all the late-breaking news on the TNA knockouts available at TNA Mobile. Text TNA to 76,000 as we see Roxy trying to catch up to Velvet Sky. But all that does is enable Angelina to get back up to her feet and catch her with a clothesline. Well, sometimes you just get so focused on your revenge that you forget where you're at. And Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, I think they felt she would come out that way. And Velvet that time just led her right into the trap, and Angelina Love was right there to take the momentum right out of her. You, know, you can see how proud she is as she makes the motions there with the shears, the invisible shears to her hair, yeah, taking credit for the head of Roxy being shaved. Catches her in the corner with the kick. Angelina going to try and fire her across and does. Back first into the turnbuckle, but Roxy able to get the elbow up. Roxy, though, just, oh, man, but she just went right into the foot, right into the kick of Angelina Love. One, two, oh, she got the shoulder up just in time. I'll tell you what, I thought she just hit that one too hard. You're right, two count only from referee Shane Sewell as we see Velvet Sky both looking on and cheering on yeah, her beautiful people partner, Angelina. The crowd 
been behind Roxy all the way, as always, sympathetically after what happened to her. But again, she doesn't want that sympathy. She just wants to look at that. She just took the momentum of Angelina Love and just flipped her behind her head and sent her flying. You're right, tossed her overhead. Unique version of the fall away slam all in one motion. Roxy trying to regroup at the same time, slowly making her way back up to her feet. Same story for Angelina Love. Roxy now wobbly. Here comes Angelina Love, but Roxy able to see it just in time and then hits her with that clothesline. And you can see it. She's getting it back. Her focus, her resolve, and now the shots and just turns around and just gives her the forearm. You're right. Series of shots punctuated with a discus forearm shot. Comes right at her. That big boot drops her in her Here tracks. It is. Here's the pin. Here's two and two only. Oh, I thought she had it there. But now look at this. Again, just looking at Velvet Sky. Just picks her off and she's got a shot for her. This time she was ready for Angelina. To, oh, man. Angelina Love just gets out of it in time. Boy, another near fall for Roxy on Angelina Love. That time doubled her over. Boot right into the midsection. Could be the voodoo drop on the way. But she's trying to set up for it. But nice defense by Angelina Love. Got to give her that. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? I, she sprayed something. Is it hairspray? I think she sprayed hairspray right into her eyes. Oh, Angelina Love able to take advantage of it. And there's no point in counting this out as she just got whatever that was in the face. And that Here's monster. your winner, Angelina Love. Oh, we can see that's exactly what it was. She blinded Roxy. She sprayed that hairspray directly in her face, directly in her eyes. And that enabled Angelina... Oh, now, come oh, on. Come on, now. Let's this, just... This is enough. The brown yeah. bag treatment yeah. now. Now, the brown bag treatment, we saw it for Lauren, our broadcast colleague in the back. They called Roxy a hideous she-beast. And now, the brown bag treatment for Roxy. Oh, they're just trying to humiliate everybody in every way. And now, look at this. Stomping on her. Kicking on her. I mean, these two, the, the low that they will go is just unbelievable. Oh, the things that they have done here in the knockout division. And speaking of the knockout division, that's ODB and Gail Kim. And you can see Gail, obviously, with that sprain of the MCL on crutch as well. On one crutch because ODB's got the other one. Well, ODB decided she could get there a lot quicker by just taking the crutch and cleaning the house.